Hey there YouTubers, this is Rallyman here and I want to welcome you to another video. So what this video is about today is the best bang for your buck ultra wide monitor. Okay, now when I say ultra wide, I mean that my my monitor is wider than the traditional 16 by 9 or, or 1080p picture um, that you would normally see. And if you watch any of my other videos, you see that I have black bars on the top and the bottom of all of my videos. And that's because up until recently, I've played in a 2560 by 1080p resolution as opposed to 1920 by 1080p. Uh, at the beginning of this week, however, I actually upgraded to a uh, 3440 by 1440 p monitor. And uh, I'm absolutely loving it. Okay. Now, the thing about this is if you've seen any ultra wide monitors or you have any interest in them at all, there are so many different monitors. There's so many different suppliers of these monitors that it's hard to kind of get an idea of what the right one to go with. There are lots of makers, LG, uh, Samsung, um, Acer and Asus, they all make ultra wide monitors and a lot of them have different focuses. So we're really talking about what I think is the best bang for your buck, which is the 34 UM88. All right. Now we're going to be focusing a little bit on LG here because that's, that's what the 34 UM88 is, is an LG. Uh, and I'm going to kind of talk about some of the different ones that they have. LG's been doing ultra wide monitors. They're kind of the ones that seem to have brought it to the market in the biggest way. And they make a few different kinds. Uh, you'll see things that say UM. That is a flat monitor. You'll see things that say UC. That is a curved monitor. All right. Uh, and that's kind of the biggest way to tell the difference. Now, ultra wide monitors, especially ones that come in 1440p, uh, don't tend to have the highest refresh rates. Um, here you'll see the 29UC88. This is a 1080p or 2560 by 1080p monitor. It is actually 144 hertz. So you will see those monitors uh, pop up. But the ones that are, are, are 2K or 1440p tend to have lower refresh rates. In the case of most of LG's monitors, they max out at 75 hertz. So if you're into things like CSGO uh, and other really high, twitchy, fast-paced shooters, these might not be the monitors for you because they have a slower refresh rate. However, me, I like to play lots of AAA games that have, uh, you know, push the limits of my graphics card. I get ultra details and lots of anti-aliasing. And, and so to me, the high refresh rates don't matter so much, just a smooth experience. So, like I said, the monitor that I have here is the LG 34UM88, okay? Um, it is a 60 hertz, uh, 1440p monitor. It's an IPS panel with a response time of 4 milliseconds, and it has FreeSync. So, FreeSync, if you haven't heard of it before, is the ability for the monitor uh, to match its refresh rate to the refresh rate of your graphics card. All right, so if your graphics card is doing 60 frames per second, so will your monitor. It will refresh 60 times per second. And what this is allows for is that in any games where you tend to have a lot of jumping frames, you go from 59 to 62 to 65 and just kind of bump all over the place, a free sync will even out your, your frames per second. It provides a very smooth gameplay. Okay, so that's the 34UM88. The model above it is the 34UC88, okay? The UC88, the differences between the two is the UC88 is a curved panel and it is a 75 hertz panel. So about 15 hertz difference. If you have ever seen the difference between 60 hertz and 75 hertz, it is such a huge difference in smoothness of gameplay. Not quite the difference between 144 and 60, but still a very large difference. So why am I talking about these two monitors in particular? Well, for one, they're the two closest monitors uh, in the lineup. Okay, both 34 inches, um, both IPS, both FreeSync. The difference being that it's 75 hertz versus 60 hertz. Okay, price difference wise, the 34 UM88 here in Canada is usually about $800. All right. The 34UC88 here in Canada can go for anywhere from 
900 all the way up to 1100 okay and then of course there's the 34 uc 98 which has thunderbolt and we won't even talk about that one i managed to pick up my 34 um 88 for 650 dollars on sale okay so here's the thing if i'm one of those guys that likes to push the graphical fidelity of my games i like the smoothness of my games it's one of the reason i play on pc if i'm that kind of guy why would i go for the 34 um 88 instead of the 34 uc 88 if the uc 88 has a higher refresh rate and a bigger free sync range why would i do that here's the thing the 34 um 88 is fully capable of doing 75 hertz refresh rate and it's fully capable in my experience of expanding its free sync range from 35 frames per second up to 75 which is actually a bigger free sync range than the 34 uc 88 so instead of me spending that extra 250 dollars to go and get a 34 uc 88 because to be honest i don't really care for the curve i'm going to go and i'm going to take my 34 um 88 and i'm going to expand the free sync range and overclock the monitor to 75 hertz because that to me is more bang for my buck so how do i do it first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to google and you're going to want to search up custom resolution utility okay it's the first thing pops up right here and it's going to give you a big kind of explanation of everything that this can do uh, overclock monitors expand free sync ranges it can actually uh, allow free sync over hdmi uh, for some non-free sync capable monitors uh, lots of uh, monitor companies have been including free sync capable uh, chips in their monitors and just not advertising it yet because you know we all know how business works that lower end monitor you can't tell people that it's just as good as the higher end monitor you won't make any money which is exactly what they've done with the um88 and the uc88 okay um so you're going to go ahead and you're going to download custom resolution use uh, utility it comes as a zip file this is not an installable executable um it, it unzips into a folder so for the purpose of this video we're going to be using custom resolution utility to expand our refresh rate, overclock it to 75 hertz, and expand our free sync range. Okay. So when it comes to overclocking a monitor, what you're going to do is go to detailed resolutions, hit add. Don't change really anything else except for the refresh rate down here. Now the way you would do this is you would start at your base refresh rate or whatever the default is in this window, and slowly but surely add hertz you can add them in in you know two or three hertz jumps okay i know from experience that lg ultra wides tend to favor 75 hertz i haven't really tried to go over it um, but once you kind of hit the limit and you go too high your monitor will rep report that it's out of range okay so i know from experience it's 75 hertz so i'm going to go ahead and change that that is the only thing i'm going to change Okay, and then I'm going to hit OK. What will show up is you'll have your resolution at 75 hertz. Okay, you can then hit OK, close CRU, go back into the folder that you unzipped it in, and hit Restart. Restart is for 32-bit uh, or x86 operating systems. Restart 64 is for 64-bit operating systems. What that's going to do is it's going to reset your graphics driver. Not reset your settings, but just kind of reboot it, shut it down, bring it back up. Once that is done, you can right click on your desktop, go to display settings, advanced display settings, display adapter properties. If I go over to monitor and go to my screen refresh rate, I'll now not only have 50 and 60, but I have 75. If I select that and hit apply, my monitor is now going at 75 hertz. Okay, that's for this monitor. Again, I know how it works. Um, there are utilities such as this one here. Uh, this UFO test can help with testing that your monitor is not skipping frames and that it's doing good frame timing. Um, you can also do
the frame skipping checker. So what's involved with this is you actually let this go on your screen. You wait until the syncing changed to valid, and then you take your camera and take a picture. Okay, and what you're looking for is that you kind of see these straight up bars as opposed to something like this. And what this means is that the monitor is skipping frames to try and keep up to the refresh rate that we set it at. This is bad. This is this is good. Okay, so at 75 hertz, the UM88 does this. All right. So we have now expanded the monitor 75 hertz. It's refreshing at 75 hertz. All right. So the next thing we want to do is expand our free sync range. Okay, from 40 to 60 hertz, which is factory default on the UM88, to 35 to 75 hertz. That may not sound like a big difference, but I can tell you that going from 40 to 35, so when you dip down into those 30s, can make a big difference for the smoothness of gameplay. And because the UC88 can do up to 75, we might as well do up to 75 on this monitor as well, because it's fully capable of it. All right, so what you're going to want to do to do that is up here where it says LG Ultra Wide or whatever monitor you may have, I'm just going to hit edit. Down here is my range limits. If I change my V rate from 40 to 60 to 35 to 75, hit OK. OK, again, go back into CRU, go restart. When I go into my Crimson, AMD Crimson settings, and I check AMD FreeSync is on, when I let my mouse hover over top, it's going to report a refresh rate. And for this display, it's now 35 to 75. Okay. You can double check that this setting is working by using the AMD FreeSync demo. I'll have that link in the description below. Unfortunately for me, the FreeSync demo crashes every time I try to open it. So why is this monitor the best bang for your buck monitor? Well, to be completely honest, it does everything the model above does, except for the curve. And to me, that curve is not worth an extra three to four hundred dollars. So in my opinion, this is the best bang for your, your buck monitor. 34 inches, ultra wide, IPS, four millisecond refresh time, response time, 75 hertz with a free sync range of 35 to 75. That to me for 650 Canadian rupees is pretty damn good. As you can see, I've been playing Titanfall. I enjoy this game. That's my video, guys. Look in the, the description below uh, for a link to these programs that I've mentioned today. Um, look in the description below uh, to also have some links to where you can buy this monitor, right? Black Friday and Cyber Monday are already past us, but hey, Boxing Day is coming up soon. All right. So thanks, guys. Uh, if you like the video, liked it. If you didn't like it, don't. Um, comment below and uh, let me know what you thought. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later.